Rock Mexico! Yeah! What's up everybody? We're back. Cars running. Uh, everything went great. First startup. No leaks, nothing like that. Uh, no word noises. Like I said, I timed it, so that part was done, everything. Um, now, I gotta see what Brian wants to do with it. Does he want the customer to come get it and put some miles on it, on the motor, before we do any pulls? Or are we gonna do the break-in for him? Or... So what does the break-in process look like? Usually, for... everybody's got different ways to do it, right? Uh, the way I break in my motors, I do a lot of engine braking, you know, like coming to a stop and stuff like that. Um, that's just how I was brought up, you know, as I was growing up working on these things and stuff. But, something like this, it was hand built. I'm not sure if Ford did a braking procedure at their plant when they built this thing, or if we gotta finish it. I know they provided the filter, you know, uh, they provided the, the tag and the guy that worked on it. But, uh, I'll let it run for a couple minutes, make sure nothing else leaks, get it up in temperature, shut it off, check all the levels. Um, cool it, I'm not worried about, that's topped off all the way, we always vacuum fill them, and they always get a perfect fill that way, and the other way, the other reason why we vacuum fill is because if there's a leak, or if there's going to be a leak, it will build in a vacuum whenever you put the machine on it, so, that part I'm not worried about. What I am worried about is any oil leaks, any transmission leaks, stuff like that, any work noises, uh, belt squeaks and stuff like that. And if all that stuff checks out, it goes over to Brian. Brian handles the rest from here. But uh, this was actually the, the first Coyote that Ricardo helped me put together. Uh, I assembled the short block, and I assembled the long block, I'm sorry. And he helped me stab it in. He put the, he put the trans back on. He's already done a couple of transmissions for me. So he's moving along pretty good. Uh, the air to water has been refilled. The, the meth still has a little bit of M1 in it, so like I said, we gotta wait and see what Brian wants to do with this thing. Nice, well it looks like it's running good. I mean, like you said, no weird noises, no leaks or anything, so I'm glad to see it. I mean, when when do we expect to see this on the dyno, assuming that it's gonna get dynoed again? Sometime this week if Brian gives us the okay. Um, and then from there, on to Travion's car, or uh, another customer, we have a car that's been here for a little bit that needs the motor put in. The one and outside? That, yeah, the one outside, the orange one. That one's getting the illuminator also. Uh, Travion, you may hit me the night, you get the illuminator also. So we got we got a total of three motors over there. We got the TKM motor for Brian's truck. We got the illuminator for Travion, illuminator for the orange car. So this one's done, let's get it out of here and on to the next one. Sounds like it should be an interesting uh, couple of months or weeks ahead of us filled with some so. good content i want to do one more uh before we leave for maryland so and when is maryland november early november so if you guys haven't been following the youtube uh brian made a post earlier we are locked in and ready to go for street fighter class at uh hall tech world cup finals we'll be there if you guys are up, all, all you northern guys all you yankees will be there you'll get to meet us hang out with us uh I look forward to meeting some of y'all. I know we got a lot of fan base up there as well, so. I'm just not excited for the cold. I heard it's different up there. That's <laughs> what you guys keep telling us that every time we bitch about the cold weather here. So, I wanna see what it's all about. I see we got another Mustang in here. What's what's going down this with this one? This one is getting a trans cooler and a trickle D torque converter that we ordered from the customer. So, um, she would have knocked this out in a couple of hours. Would that require a retune as well? Uh, sometimes. It depends on which part number you get. So, if it's a special build, you know, like a midnight trans or something like that, uh, usually one will send like a revision or something. But, in any case, it's better to ask your tuner about it. Every tuner has, does things a certain way. And this will be... Nobody quote me on that. <laughs> I think red is your color. I don't think so. This thing hasn't seen the sun in a couple days, but it's 
nice to drive it again, I guess. Under its own power. Yeah. Of course, of course. So Richard, is there a reason why we're moving around Blue Bean? The Blue Beaner? The Blue Beaner. We, uh, we're gonna replace the meth line and the meth pump. That 727 pass and the 728 pass, I believe. I think it, we ran a 728 or whatever. Um, it had an issue with the IATs not cooling down. So we got, we're gonna just go ahead and replace the pump on the line and not worry about that the next outing. Yeah. Brian said not this weekend, maybe next weekend. <clears throat> we would take it out and try to take the record. Just like which that is, down. huh? Which is what's the record? Seven twenty-six is the record, not seven twenty-seven. So it's actually seven twenty-six-six. So we'll just beat that real quick and then go on about our business. Get ready for Maryland. Just another day at the office. Yep. Alright, so in the last scene we were talking, this car was not on the dyno. So what, what's going on here? We're going to send some logs to Lund. Just for like a sanity check to make sure everything's good. So okay. it's not necessarily a retune that time. No, it's not a retune. Okay, so, I see. But I'm just gonna do some logs, shoot him some logs over, and see what he says. He'll probably get back to us tomorrow at some point. I know they close. They close at three our time, so they're out of state for those that don't know. So while we have this car here, I want to ask you, what's the pros or cons of going with a Ford built short block like the Illuminator versus just building the short block that the customer has already in the car? So this one, when they're in, like a lot of the times they're gonna be in stock ready to ship. You get them in a couple of days or maybe a week at the most or so. And when they're in stock, of course. Um, it was hand built by the guys that designed these cars in the first place. So they kind of know what they're doing versus, I, I, I'm more keen to trust them over some random machine shop here in Houston to do our work. And then y'all see how that went. So um, if it's not gonna be TKM, we're gonna do these illuminators they, they work right out of the box and uh i haven't seen nothing wrong with them from what i've seen the forge pistons forge rods forge crank or whatever and the uh the arp rod caps that I, the rod bolt cap on the the rod bolts that i saw that i saw uh uh oh uh, down hell oh uh, uh, fuck it yeah, i think it's pretty stout they're not, they're not filled blocks, they're not sleeve blocks, but I think for most people here in the Houston area, they'll be just fine. They're rated oh. like 1100 or so, so. Okay, so it's not a sleeve block. No. I was, for some reason, I was under the assumption that it would be. I don't think it, it is, be. unless it, that's what it says on the website. I don't know, I just fucking install this shit and call it a day. <laughs> and can you only do this on this dyno because it's load bearing? Or can you, you can still? You on the street. Okay. But if you, if you, if you want to feed the, the tuner false data from your inertia, from your shitty cheap ass inertia dyno, go ahead, you know. That's between you and God. And yet again, I find you here on your knees. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, some, that's like something somebody would say in the comments. <laughs> I'm worried about some of y'all. I beat them to it. Yeah. Um, but what are we doing? I see we are in another 5.0. What are we doing to this one? Uh, pulling another stock file for a tune. Let's see. We should put, probably put some pressure on Brian about the white truck. Because well, I was actually talking him to talking to him about it this morning, but he's more interested in getting Project Vader up and running than Project Stormtrooper. I am too. It's just a time constraint. 
only issue right now. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to pull the motor out and the transmission out and stuff. Um, but as far as I know, we're missing the fuel system. We're missing the... Fuel system and injectors is what he told me. Yeah, we're missing that. The trans still has to get, uh, get built. And... And who does all the trans building for y'all? Uh, Midnight. Manny? Yeah, Manuel. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um, so we got one, Brian's two, three, and a fourth Mustang in the shop. I think that's a sign for you. I what? think you know what you need to get next. What, a Mustang? Yes. I think they followed you. They chose you. You didn't choose them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I want to build next. I heard word on the street is you, you're thinking about building something. Maybe. Not right now, though. i got to get into a house first. I gotta, I gotta move here first, and then I can worry about that stuff. Cause it wouldn't be a threat of my family for me to spend all this money on the car. You know, <laughs> we haven't moved down here close to work yet. So. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, so it's the next day. We got the Red Rocket still on the dyno. What exactly are we doing to her? I gotta put this. Uh, whatever this boomer contraption is, so the battery doesn't die while I'm trying to put the new revised tune that lunch on then this morning so i gotta load that tune in first start it and then take that crap off turn the fans on make a pull to 6500 he says send that log to him and see what he says after that and nice hopefully after he's usually gonna be like do the same thing again or rev it to 7500 rpm okay so oh. this will be an ongoing basically cycle of doing pulls to a certain rev and then yes sending the files checks and balances nice Guys seem to like you pumping in the last video. Pumpela tú porque su voz se emociona mucho cuando lo hago yo. Sí, güey, con dos manos. Unos en las bolas. Get your money for it. Just pero. Ay, veo, enséñame, enséñame. Es que el tocayo, el tocayo le hace así. <laughs> At least take the dinner out first. Pero cierra la boca, wey, porque la traes abierto. Es que el wey tiene nombre de americano, wey, yo mexicano. Risha. Risha. A910 at 6500 RPM. Was that good or bad? I mean, it's unexpected. Hi. Drop took timing out. I bet you they had it turned off on the last two without the mail. What do you mean? Good stuff all together. I'm sure Neil will be pleased to pick it up and actually enjoy his car. This poor guy, he was put through the ringer. It came at, came in, it had been at another shop, overcharged, dicked him down, took forever, couldn't get the tune right. And you know, we've kind of been helping him along the way. So he's been a really good customer and you know, pays, is patient, doesn't complain. Perfect customer. So thank you, Neil. Oh, we have insurance. I'm like, no, you don't have insurance. You boys like Mexico! <laughs> <laughs>